welcome to today's Big Brother Canada 4 chat. This is your episode 10 chat. Woo! Okay, so last time, Kelsey and Raul were nominated by Joel. And Kelsey and Raul were shocked that they were nominated. What's wrong with you people? Who made this stupid mistake? How could they? It has to be a mistake. Someone get Arissa on the phone. You are in a clearly defined alliance of three. A an unbreakable bond, bond if bond. you will. La Vida must be to blame. We'll get to the bottom of this. Well, Kelsey kept calling this a stupid mistake. Jared was very upset. He wanted to throw water on La Vida's fake hair. Is this like the Wizard of Oz and you're like throwing water on the witch? Or I don't All I know is my friend <laughs> got like a drink dumped on her hair up in the club and she was so pissed. So I would like to see Jared do that and get freaking... Yeah. Well, Joel feels terrible that there's all this angst in the house now, even though it was his idea. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't want to, like, dash people's dreams, but it is part of the game. He said, we're all here to win, and now someone's not going to win because of me. I find it really hard to believe, though, that freaking Kelsey's dream was to be on this show. No. No. All right, so Raul went and asked Joel... What happened? Yeah, he's like, was this Levita? And Joel was like, no, this was my decision. And Raul was like, I know this wasn't Joel. <laughs> Even after he told him. These were my decisions. Straight to his face. He's like, well. I'm, it was Levita. <laughs> it was Levita. And you'll see me in the power of veto competition. Yeah. Yes, we there. will. So then Raul was crying by himself in the bathroom. It was kind of sad. It was really sad. So then Jared goes and comforts him, wearing his freaking pants tucked into his boots. I think Raul, as a stylist and as a human, was, was quite really amused. crying he was about quite that. Amused, I think yes. that's what the tears were about. All right. Well, Kelsey and Jared, they still don't effing believe it. They're holed they just, up in their little habitat room corner with their blankets on the floor, and they're just like, what the F? Blah. Mitch comes in, tries to do a little damage control, and he says, you know what? It was Levita's fault. Yeah, because Mitch is very much working both sides right now, so he doesn't want them to think that he was in on these nominations. Well, that's what they wanted to hear anyway. They wanted to hear that it was Levita's fault. Yeah, he was and also now, protecting Joel. Right, but now I'm thinking, since he said that, they were like, hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, all right. Well, Jared, all this, you know, all this fuel is being added to the fire. He goes and confronts Levita about this. You're terrible. Like, How could you? I think it's disgusting the way that you try to manipulate Joel. You're disgusting. So then she starts crying and nobody cares. <laughs> well, Joel Not cares. Like Raul was caring. No. Uh, crying. Joel goes to the bathroom where the trio's all hanging out and he's just like, I want you guys to know. Those were my nominations. And they were like, yeah, right. Ooh! Time to pick players for the veto. How many times does he have to tell them, though? I mean, really. He makes they, his own decisions. They will never believe it. So, because they can't make their own decisions, so they figure nobody else can either. Yeah, they're all, guys, what are we going to do this week? Okay, veto picks. Joel picks Dallas. Okay. Kelsey picks Ramsey. And Raul is the only one who picked, like, somebody who might help him being Jared. Right. And the host was Cassandra. Kelsey was also quite excited that uh, Jared was one of the uh, veto picks. Of course. I mean, if Jared wins and takes one of them off the block, there's still a chance that they could both stay. Right. If they get rid of the pawn instead. All right. So it's time for the POV comp. It's a Wild West theme. Wild West and polka. This should be... Polka! <laughs> this should be easy for Jared, since he is like a freaking cowboy. Well... Canadian cowboy. I guess. <laughs> he does wear his boots on the outside of his pants. Come on. So you have to ride a fake horse... You gotta pull yourself the along this track. I love this. I love when they have like little fake horses or, you know, like the mermaid one is creative. awesome. I love that. So you have to get your horse over to the desert. Find these cards, bring them back one at a time, and make the best possible five-card five hand that right. you can. There's also wild cards that have but, punishments. Yeah. Or maybe a prize. Well, no. The wild cards don't. But there are. <laughs> there is a prize. All of the wild cards are punishments. So no, I'm not trying to shame you. All I'm right. just saying. So you know, you can make that any card you want. 
but then there's reward cards that cannot be used to help your hand, right. but you get a reward. All right, well, Jared fell off his horse like right away. seconds into it. Kelsey's like, Jared, stop that! <laughs> yeah, because he really did it on purpose. All right, so Jared pulled the first wild card, and his punishment would have been you can't compete in the next HOH comp. So oh, he's no. like, I don't want to use that one. I'm going to throw it in the I'm gonna, um, discard I'm box. This. Yeah. Raul also got a wild card. His was Knight of 1,000 Lassos. We'll get there. He didn't know what it was, but it sounded lovely. <laughs> no. Kelsey uh, got a reward card for 1,000 bucks. Of course she's keeping it. Come on. The prize for the show is only 100,000, so uh, if you get 1,000. No tax, though. Oh. <laughs> well, no tax on the 1,000, either. Dallas also got a wild card, and his was Human Cactus. I don't know what that means, but... Oh okay. my god! <laughs> Half of everything that Dallas said in this episode was incoherent. He was just like... Arr, arr, arr. There was an awful lot of subtitles for him. Yeah. Alright, so there were... Dallas... Oh yeah, Dallas got the wild card. There was three full houses. There was a lot of high-scoring hands here. Mm -hmm. Um, Kelsey had like a pair of nines or something. Get out of here with your thousand dollars. So it came down to Raul and Dallas. Right. And Dallas had four of a kind. Oh, Read snap. Them in a week. So he was the winner. But guess what? If Jared had used his wild card, he would have beaten Dallas with his own four of a kind. Wow. Wow. Don't you feel like a dummy with your pants on the inside of your boots now? <laughs> So Dallas is... This is his second POV in a row, and he's feeling still kind of regret from last week he's for not... He's a big talker. For not yeah, using that he veto. He wants to use it, even though it might not be beneficial. Dude! He just wants to use it, you okay? You have to make sure that the correct person's going to be nominated. I know. He wants to backdoor Jared. And Tim wants to be a pawn. Tim's holding court in the... In um, the bathtub. In the, the bathtub. Yeah. That was crazy. There was like four, three or four people standing around just watching Tim take this bath, and he's like, Oh, I'd love I'd it love to, to go up a as a pawn. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It was hilarious. Tim is hilarious. Tim's ready to stir some stuff up. Nobody would send Tim home, or would they? You know, I feel like, you know, they if might. Mitch had his hands on that situation, it'd be a little too sweet to, to pass up. All right, well, Raul. His punishment time has arrived. He has, I guess, one day or 12 hours to lasso a fake bull on a track. You pull it towards you, somebody else moves it back, and that's like well, if you, one. Well, if people want to be nice. Yeah. He's got to do that a thousand times. That sucks. I mean, there's no guarantee that you're going to make it every time, so... Right. If you don't make it, it doesn't count. Well, he was complaining. He said his hands were so rough, it's like he actually did a day's work. <laughs> Oh, Raul. <laughs> so, Dallas got his cactus costume. Why was it so furry? I th was it like a Sasquatch costume? It was like Sully some from on it? Monsters, Inc., but like a dirty Sully <laughs> that's been like rolling around in a rain puddle. Or in an ashtray? I don't know. All right, well, Dallas was humping everybody with his cactus suit on. Because he's, he's a, a big, big prick. prick. Big prick. All right, and he, he can't use his hands with his He really costume. can, but he chooses not to. Well, not really. I'm sure he could slip them out and, like, put them through here uh, and, like, He'd have do to go through, like, like his face hole. Yeah, through his face that hole. That would be really difficult. I think he could handle it. I don't know, but people were feeding him. Um, somebody was helping him smoke at one point. I don't think we saw that on the show. No. But, um, yeah. Somebody was he needed some giving him a drink, and he spit up all over the floor. Ew! I wanted to throw up myself when I saw that. That was disgusting. He like, here it hit the floor. Oh, uh, <laughs> enough. All right. All right, so. Mitch helps Raul. That, that lassoing took a long time. Well, Mitch is trying to help him strategically, too, because he thinks that if Kelsey goes, she's kind of like the linchpin of that alliance. So once she's gone, he can kind of move in there and scoop up Raul and Jared. So Raul doesn't know what the hell's going on, especially if Kelsey's gone. He needs guidance. So, I wouldn't want Kelsey leading the way either, no. but Mitch, yes. He's like, you know, I could have them put uh, Tim up on the block as a pawn, mm -hmm. and then you could Kelsey stay. Kelsey will go, you'll stay. Yeah. So he pitches the idea to Joel and Levita, and they're like, mm. Well, they're kind of thinking, yeah, if mm. Dallas uses the veto. But, I mean, what are the chances he's going to do that? If Dallas uses the veto, he's going to want to see Jared go up there. 
So Kelsey asked Dallas if he's going to use the veto on her. And he's, at first, you know, before she walked in, he was all like, I'm going to use that veto. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, no, I don't think I'm going to use it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, Kelsey realizes, oh, shit, I'm probably going home this week. Did anybody else get the sense when she said that to Jared? Jared was just like, mm, yeah, well, bye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wake up, stupid. You're going home. So it's time for the POV ceremony. Raul says, I am loyal, truthful. I'll be grateful if you use it on me. I owe you one. Okay. And Kelsey's just like, I'm honest, I'm trustworthy, and I'm so, I'm like the nicest person in the house. And look what happens. I've been on the block like twice, and just use it on me, okay? I'll be grateful, for sure. <laughs> yeah, so Dallas is like, uh, I'm not going to use it. <laughs> And he said he wants to chop one head off the three-headed monster. Why do these people think it's okay to put that last parting shot in all the time? Remember what happened to Christine when she did that? I feel like she sometimes... She next week. You want to leave out those unnecessary comments, but this is Dallas we're talking about. Yeah. He's not holding anything back. No. So, who do you guys think is going home tonight, actually? It's a special 90-minute fake double eviction. We still don't know exactly how this is going to work. They haven't said, so... Well, one eviction is going to be real. Right. And one is going to be fake. Uh, we'll find out. <laughs> and until next time, much, much love. love. Edit. Edit.